Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and today I want to share with you top 10 pandas functions that I use the most in my work as a data analyst. I should say that Python has powerful and most popular package pandas built on top of NumPy. Pandas is one of the most famous uh, data science tool for data cleaning, manipulating and analyzing. This library provides many functions and methods for data analysis and data science process, so having a cheat sheet or cheat sheet video is still valuable. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. I'll show how everything works on Diabet's dataset that I have downloaded from Kaggle. So now I have a CSV file. What I need to do first is to convert uh, this CSV file, this table, to dataset into pandas. So for this I'm using read CSV function. This function helps read a comma separated value files. So all you need to do is mention the path of the file you want to read. Read CSV can also read uh, files separated by the linter other than comma, so you should pay attention. And in this case, you need to mention separator uh, inside the function by writing sep equals to and the sign. So as you see here, we have the data set with all our data. I should say the two CSV function works exactly opposite of read CSV. It helps us to write data contained in pandas data frame or series to CC file. Okay, once we turn dataset into pandas data frame, we need to take a look at it. So the simplest way is to display several rows and the head uh, helps us to do that. So uh, helps allow us to display rows from the top of data frame. By default, uh, df.head returns the first five rows of data frame, but if you need more or less rows, you just need to mention the number of needed rows in the brackets. I should say that you are able to return bottom rows to display them. Uh, all you need to do is to use tail, it works exactly as uh, head. Also, we need to store data in an appropriate format, but how do we know the format of data in a dataset? For this reason, uh, we can use dtypes. So, all we need to write is data.dtypes. Uh, for example, you need to apply some math function to a column, but it is an error that you can't apply this function to a series. So all you need to do is to change uh, and how to change the type? We can use as type function. So we are able to convert an object type to category, or object to uh, float and etc. We are able to cast all columns, but let's change the type only for outcome column, which is integer now. Let's change it to category. To check, let's use D types again. Correct. As you see, there can be non values in a data frame. Uh, typically, in a large data set, you will find several entries labeled none uh, by Python. So, you may use fill now method to replace this none by the value they want. Uh, okay, let's replace none uh, with zero. Let's replace none with median value of glucose column. For this reason, we need to write fill na data glucose column dot median. Next is value counts. This function returns a pandas series containing the counts of unique values. So if we apply this function to pregnancy column, we will understand the number of people for each pregnancy number. Okay, next let's talk about log. It helps us to access a group of rows and columns in a data set, a slice in a data set per hour requirement. For instance, if you want to access first two rows and three columns of a data set, we can access them with the help of the log writing. 
Also there is iLock which works in similar manner to lock but it's not inclusive in both values so if you will write down iLock from 0 to 4 it would return as the rows with the index 0, 1, 2, 3 while lock from 0 to 4 will return rows from uh, with index 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Next is rename. This method is especially useful when you're going to merge two tables and you need to uh, rename some columns to avoid ambiguity. And this method is used to rename any index, columns, row. Let's rename column pregnancies to preg. Uh, so we are writing data dot rename columns pregnancy and We are able to change name to several columns in one time. To rename more columns, we need to add new key value to dictionary. Next is merge. Uh, at the point we have two or more data frames, but actually it's good to have one, we can combine them on a co common column. And here I don't have the second data frame, so let's create. Uh, let's make two columns, age and houses. Mm -hmm. And use merge to combine them. If you're familiar with concept join in SQL, merge function similar to that. For example, we can combine data, data frame A with data frame B based on specific type of combination, I mean inner, left, right, order or cross, uh, to create data frame C. So here, let's write the first data frame which is main, uh, data dot merge. Next, we mention the second data frame that we want to join. Uh, it calls df. How I'll choose left join, left merge on h. h is our common column. And here we have our result table. As you see, we have houses at the end. Last thing that I want to tell you about is pandas group by. It's used for grouping the data according to the categories and apply the function to the categories. This function is used to split data into groups based on the criteria, so it also helps to aggregate data. Using group by on a pandas data frame is overall simple. We first need to group data according to the one or more column and then apply some aggregation function or logic. So, let's find the average blood pressure for people under 30. So, our main criteria in this case is age under 30. So, first of all, let's consider only this data. Next, we are grouping by age. This is our column and we are applying mean function to blood pressure column. As you see here, we have average uh, blood pressure for each age. So by group by, we are referring to the process including one or more as following steps. The first one is splitting the data into groups by a criteria. Next one is applying a function to each group independently. And the last one is combining the result into a data structure. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful and interesting. Uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel, click like and I'll see you soon.